you started well in terms of the scoreboard, you clearly could work out that way. How did you see yeah, I think we were beaten by the better team today. I thought Melbourne were very good. I thought we were very bad. And uh, that's not a good combination when you're playing against a team that's informed. So sometimes you have to accept it when you're not at the races or you're not playing to your levels. We didn't play to our levels today. They obviously did, and they got the three points. Do you think you were bad for the full 90? Because you did take the lead early yep. on, and you seemed to have an idea of what you were trying to accomplish, but it was the full 90 for you, or...? Yeah, I think we showed glimpses. I think this season we've showed glimpses of, of being a good team and other times, you know, we've gone away from doing what we're trying to build here. And, you know, from the first few minutes, I know they're going to put you under pressure at certain times because they're a good team. You know, when you get your noses in front, that's important. You probably get to half time. Uh, and that's probably the frustrating thing was we were unable to get to half time from a, a free kick, if it was or it wasn't, uh, and a wonderful finish. You weren't real happy about that free kick? No. No. Your view, just not a free kick, or yep. unhappy that um, Craig Moon was allowed to take it as quickly as he was? Well, no, I don't know what has been Craig Noon and the referee have agreed. Um, I, haven't, we haven't, I don't think you've seen a goal like that for many, many years in football because we, I think you're under the impression that you have to wait for the whistle or something like that, so I don't know. It's a wonderful finish. We should be switched on. Let's not take anything away from that, uh, from the goal, because that's what you want to see is good goals. I don't think it's a free kick. If you look at the free kick, if it's a free kick for a push from Ziggy Gordon on the player, the players will go that way, but my player's this way. So, no, it's not a free kick. But two minutes earlier, there was another incident of a non-free kick as well, which annoyed me a little bit more. And it was two or three in a row. Yeah, just to yeah. clarify for a second, um, so you didn't hear the ref blow the whistle or your players didn't? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I, no, I can't hear from over there. I haven't. It looked as if Noon spoke to the ref. Right. Said, I mean, yeah, no, of course. And if that's the case and that is allowed, yeah. which I'm not sure it is, I don't know. Um, it's a good goal. It's a good finish. Forget forget whether there was a whistle or not. I don't know. It was a great finish by the boy. But we should be switched on. Yeah. We stand on the ball and he kicks against us. Does he give us a yellow card or not a yellow card? Do we wait? Yeah, so there's so many pyramids to it. Well, it did sort of spark what looked like a bit, fair bit of a blow-up between yourself and Paddy Kisolbo. Yeah. Sidelines. Um, Trust me, that's not a blow up. Just, just handbags? <laughs> yeah. Uh... So I think there's difference of views, difference of opinions, views that you have as, as coaches, as players. It happens on the pitch, sometimes it happens. You know, we're both passionate people, strong minded people. You know, when you're, when you're new into management, you have your own ideas and that lot. So, not, no problem. We saw when City took the lead, 50 second minute, they go 2 1 up. Three minutes later, yeah. it's 3-1. They have another goal disallowed after that. Yeah. Just, did they go to another level at some point? Did your side, because we've seen them do that the past three or four games, they've had these 10 or 15 minute spells. How do you stop that? As a coach? Well, you've probably got to break the game up. That's the reality of it. And they, when they went, we, I was tampering with t t thinking of making a substitution prior to it going to 2-1. And then by the time we're about to get it done, it goes 3-1. So they score goals in bursts. You're at your most vulnerable either when you score or when you concede, because literally the mindset of players is, is a negative one rather than a positive one. And it's like the old adage, you wait for a bus and it doesn't come for 20 minutes and two come in the next two minutes. So they scored two goals. The, th the fourth goal is... Uh, I think he was offside, but more importantly, my, my player's got a cut on his eye and he's got a concussion, which is why I think the ref should have stopped the game immediately, like he did for the for the boy Jameson or one of their players. Because any head injury, you, you've got to take these stuff, this stuff seriously now. So is that what's happened today? You've got a concussion? Yep. Is, is yep. Other injuries or is that concussion, head injury, which is why he didn't move for the 35, 40 seconds when the goal was uh, scored. And then taken off. But again, another heated example of two benches emotions. Just deal with it. Deal with the head injury. Stop the game straight away. End off. Didn't happen. Um, I mean, that was an unfortunate incident. Yep. The boot, people tend to bounce off him. Um, <laughs> yeah. Is that actually a crucial difference? We saw Ziggy Gordon get beat up the car the other night. Yeah. Here, and actually, Antonio Conte was the one that said, "Yeah, they're just too big, too strong, too yep. powerful, too quick." Yeah. Um, is that essentially what the difference between them at the moment and everyone else is? 
Yeah, I think that's fair. I think that's a fair assessment from Ante. I think when you when you lose a game of football, you're always looking for the the reasons why. Um, you know, my players fought today. They hung in there. They dug in there. It's not easy when you concede a goal or two goals away from home. It's our first away victory uh, defeat we've had this year in seven, six or seven games. So, you know, I won't fault their effort. You know, it might be an off day for us because we didn't get into our, our rhythm. Um, and sometimes the, the team, the other team, plays better than you. When it does play better than you. And that does happen. You try not to lose the game. Unfortunately, we lost the game today to a very good team who's in form. Um, but I wouldn't say they beat us up. How? How highly do you rate City? Yeah, I think I think there's a conversation going on at the moment with a lot of people saying that um, Melbourne are the best team. You know, Central Coast are sitting top. I, I think that's a little bit unfair on Central Coast. Uh, and, it, and it happens quite a bit and people are saying it because they've won five or six games in a row well the first four or five games they lost three or four in a row so uh, give some respect to Central Coast they're a good team as well uh, we're a good team there are other good teams McCarthy you mentioned Sydney have won the league the last two years there's other good teams so I just think it's sometimes people want to start little storylines and things like that that they're the best team but you know have some respect for the other teams in the competition that's what I would say very, very tight. Obviously, Melbourne City have put themselves in a really good position today with uh, a victory. So you have to accept that. You've got to follow up. Whenever you lose a game, you've got to bounce back. If you can bounce back uh, and not get into a rut of losing, it helps. And when you're winning, you try and keep that momentum going on and on, which is what they're doing at the moment. Unfortunately, our, ours come to an end tonight, but we'll move on. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll say it for you. Melbourne victory is no chance to win the league. But aside from Melbourne victory, do you think... You know, we're still in a situation where if a team gets a run of form, any side in the A-League can still do damage come final time? Yeah, well, again, that's your storyline. If Melbourne Victory win a number of games and sneak into the last playoff slot and win the, the finals, then I'm sure they'll have an argument to you. So, again, listen, it's football. You know that. Do I think they're a good team? Yes, they are a good team. But there's lots of good teams in this league. And anyone can beat anyone on their day, as proven. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Just get back to get back to basics. We'll we'll rest up over the weekend now, and uh, we'll analyse it on Monday. Uh, we'll get back and we'll move forward. You know, we've lost three points at the end of the day with a disappointing performance from us, and and we know that it's my responsibility. I'm the manager. I'm the coach. Um, but we'll we'll look forward to next week. Um, we've bounced back when we have had defeats. We lost to the opening day of the season and we bounced back with a couple of mini three-game run. We've just been on a very good run at the moment. The boys have been exceptional. Today wasn't our day and you have to accept that sometimes, but you move on. The sun always shines the next day. I know it's very early, but have you heard anything about travelling to Brisbane and what's been going on today? Or no, no, probably you probably know more than me being on the internet, so I don't know. So as long as everyone's safe and healthy. Thank you.